Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 5th, 2023. So happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Well, yesterday, obviously, we had a little bit of pain in the market with the regional banks continuing to sell off strongly, but Apple came in with a better than expected report, and we're trying to gap up this morning. So does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the friday edition to the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here i do really really appreciate it let's take a look at the charts and see if we can gain some information about the market today just before we get started i want to make mention that i decided that well today Cinco de Mayo was a good enough excuse to have to write no blog this morning so it's a no blog friday which means that i'm going to run through all the notable earnings reports today in kind of a fast session but how about we dig in on these charts well what we saw yesterday was a pretty heavy sell-off as you all know pushing down pretty sharply and we broke that price support range here in the diamonds so if there is any good news we finally got unstuck here on the diamonds to the downside but the Apple earnings looks like it's going to push us right back up into that range. And if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see technically here we broke down below our 50 day, but recovered it by the end of the day. So nice hold of the 50 day moving average. And I suspect we're due for a little bit of a relief rally after four days of a pretty heavy sell-off now if we bounce back up today if those bulls find inspiration notice we have this resistance right here first and if we can pass through that well maybe up into here you can see we're gonna find that next resistance level in the chart we'll be back into that chop zone but maybe we can push on through into there. If those bears uh, were to some for some reason rush back in, you know, for example, um, the banking route continues to happen. Well, then a retest of these lows down here heading into the weekend uh, probably would be uh, a major concern if that were to happen. And we do have some economic data that maybe could potentially inspire those bears so watch that closely here today then let's take a look at our spy spy also had a pretty rough day yesterday but the good news side of this is we came down here and touched this chop zone area if you want to call that good news we've been stuck in this range now for a month and just continuing to whipsaw around but at least we held that low in in there on that support area and we're pushing up today because of the big push into big tech and uh, even though apple is at 26 times earnings and uh, nobody seems to care about the premium they have to pay for a one dollar gain in apple in return but um, they're continuing to dive into big tech um, despite the very, very high PE ratios. So we're pushing up here in the SPY and let's take a look if we press this up, where's that next resistance level in the chart? Well, there might be a little bit of resistance right in here as you can see um, in that chart. Just a little tiny bit of resistance. We'll see maybe pushing up into that mid-range of that chop zone um, would seem to be a likely place that we might run into a little bit of resistance and then if those bears were to be inspired then i would suggest a retest of this low here on the day if they got really inspired we might even slip a little bit lower and actually do a physical test of that 50 day moving average in the spy let's take a peek at our QQQ now QQQ will likely be the best of the day and it continues to be the strongest index here in the market albeit we are still trapped within this range and we have been in here for uh, more than a month uh, chopping around and um, we'll see if uh, the Apple earnings will provide enough energy for us to finally break through. If we uh, continue to push here today, you can see we've got a little bit of price resistance right in there. Um, that could provide that resistance. Of course, we've got that trend 
right here as well that we've kind of slipped below but we've been pretty choppy so I'm gonna give that to the bulls on this without too much worry and as we push back if we can push through that well then I would look for a retest of this resistance level in the chart for that potential breakout if those bears um, were to come in and find inspiration here on the day well then I would look for a retest of yesterday's low and then if that were to break then possibly down to retest the support of this trade range let's take a look at our IWM IWM well still the by far the weakest of the indexes here in the market um, I made some really good money members of right way options we made really good money on um, a spread trade here in IWM this week and as this bounces back up I'll be watching up in here um, these resistance levels you can see we we've just been struggling with this price resistance shooting star patterns the downtrend here in the chart uh, clearly this is a pretty bearish pattern but maybe with a relief rally we can squeeze out some of those short traders and and get a good lift on that chart so if the bears were to be inspired then I would look for a retest of this low and then um, we start moving on lower to test some of these levels in the chart let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX well again there's so much zero day to expiration trading that the CBOE has had to put out a daily product on the VIX because we're not getting really good readings of what fear and greed actually are in the market and um, well yesterday we saw a pretty good spike in fear on the VIX just with the regional bank problem that we have PacWest dropping 50% and there and that's not the only one there's a lot of regional bank pain out there right now and so um, rallying up here uh, pressing a little bit of resistance in the chart we're up around 20 handles here on the VIX but I would expect with the bullishness of Apple and the gap up that we're expecting this morning, this is going to pull back and I would look for a retest into these support levels as long as those bulls maintain control. If for some reason we get some data that spooks, um, spooks those bulls a little bit and brings out the bears, well, maybe we pop up pop up through that 20 handle but i'm kind of looking for a, a relief rally here in the market a little rest or pullback then let's take a look at our t2122 well our t2122 is really going to be one of our best clues that we could get a little bit of a relief rally we haven't extended this selling um clear to the bottom here like we had in the past and we've held in this area here um, three consecutive tests in this area here. So with the Apple earnings, um, the willingness to, to just pay huge premiums for big tech, I think we're probably going to lift up here because we have enough big tech in uh, three of the major indexes that we're going to pop up here a little. And we certainly have the upside opportunity to do that with the selling that we've seen here in the market. Now, if for some reason those bears do find some inspiration, then we do have to recognize we still have more downside opportunity in T2122 before we reach that fully um, oversold condition here in the market. But this is the bearish reversal zone and um, high probability. I think that we get some kind of lift or relief here today. If we take a look at our T2108, I'm going to say pretty much the same thing. Now, T2108 just Although we bounced quite a bit yesterday, notice that T2108 didn't respond much. 34, 35% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But the good news is we're kind of holding in here on a little bit of a price support level. You can see all of these price levels across here, kind of giving us a little bit of hope that we're going to hold in this area and get a little bit of relief to the upside. And I think. 
I think that's probably a reasonable uh, thought today. Now, if if that's not the case, if those bears were to come in, then watch for a break of that support. And there's reasons why that could occur. Just the regional bank problem. If if selling really picks up on the regional banks, that's going to be a major problem for the market as that fear of our banking system um, continues to swirl around out there. And then if we look at our T2107, well, T2107 also had a pretty rough day yesterday, pushing down and really testing and uh, honestly breaking a little bit of price support in there. And we still have this head and shoulders pattern on this chart that is still a bit of a concern here uh, on that. So watch that closely. We don't want this breaking down through that neckline. That could really um, bring on some some pain here in the market if that were to occur but down here around the neckline of this head and shoulders this would be a really good place 36 37 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day it would be a really good place for a little bit of relief rally at least keeping in mind that we still kind of have a downturn going on here so watch that close our T2101, T2101 did give us that little bit of a hope yesterday as well, where we hooked that momentum a little bit. And so we've been pushing down, pushing down, pushing down without momentum moving us to the downside. And now we're hooking this to the upside just a little bit, showing that yesterday with that, with that bounce off of the lows, we had a little bit of a momentum shift in the market, a little bit of bullish momentum shift. So I think there is that possibility unless something else happens here in the market, we get a little bit of relief here today. Then if we take a look at our economic calendar, well, our economic calendar, where did I do with the economic calendar? Um, give me just a second and I'm going to pull up the economic calendar. Um, whoops, it's not there. Now you guys know that I do this um, video live every day. Um, and there's no editing that I do to this video. Um, so on the economic calendar, we have the employment situation number coming out here before the bell. The only thing that raises a little bit of concern on the employment situation number would be that ADP number on Wednesday that came in so hot. If the employment situation number were to come in hot like that, that gives the Fed cover to continue to raise rates. So watch that carefully here. If uh, we really need to to make the Fed happy, we need to see some pain here in that employment situation number. So watch that one close. We're going to have um, also some Fed speakers here today. We know what that can do, can create some volatility market with those Fed speakers. But other than that, that's about it for the day to really move us around. Consumer credit, you know, three, I don't, it's not going to, probably not going to inspire the market at all. So let's take a look at some stocks um, um, on the economic calendar or earnings calendar today. And I'm going to run through a list of notables that I've pulled out that um, we want to be paying attention here today. So I'm going to run through these really quickly because there are um, several, uh, but we have a very much reduced list of earnings for today. So really quickly, we're going to um, see results from AMC, AXL, ABR, BEP, CBOE. We've got Dominion in there, ENB, FLR, Goodyear Tire, Huntsman, We've got JCI on the list, PAA, SSP, CI, and WBD is what I have on the list for today for potential notables. So you might want to keep an eye on those and just realize that uh, there might be a little bit of moving around here today based on earnings reports, but honestly, what's going to trump the day is what happens to apple apple is the biggest weighted company across all three indexes and when apple moves the market moves and 
Apple typically inspires other big techs to rally as well. So if you can get Microsoft to move with it, well, then we have a pretty bullish day in the market. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, that's click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I wanna say thanks to everyone who's going through and putting thumbs ups on um, other comments in the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the kind support. Um, never ever in my life did I think that there would be that many people that would be interested in looking at charts without a bias, without a uh, preconceived notion as to what should occur here, but just really looking at the charts for what they are not for what they we want them to be to avoid that bias to avoid that prediction just what's the market looking like now you can have any kind of idea that you want past that and say you know whatever you think in here but when i look at the charts i want to look at them with that idea that anything is possible and what are the odds where are we likely going to go today? And that has served me well over the years, and I hope it has um, helped you as well to improve your trading, because that is the goal here at Right Way Options, traders helping traders. Um, so hopefully you are um, finding some benefit here as well. And once again, thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to um, support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video guys are truly awesome thank you so much let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful um, here in the market because of the volatility that we are seeing so make sure you're following your own work rules make sure you're following your own risk tolerances in these trades let's take a look at amd amd there was some news that came out yesterday that even though they had a bad earnings report and the market was punishing them there was news out there yesterday that amd and microsoft are teaming up on some ai work out there and boy we had a big shot of uh, movement here on that news and so i would watch this closely there's uh, a a resistance level here that we still have to pay attention to in the chart like it or not and maybe if we breaking this downtrend here again if we can break back above and actually prove to hold that with a higher low maybe a consolidation here even pushing on through there may be some opportunities coming back in AMD because of this collaboration between Microsoft and AMD now I would really prefer uh, my my favorite place is always going to be break the downtrend hold the higher low and if we can hold it above that resistance in there and show buyers that's where i want to be long so watch that closely here in the chart on amd i think that's a pretty interesting potential move you know yesterday i suggested disney might have an upside opportunity if it can hold that support boy it just fell apart yesterday uh, dropping down through that support level and now we're back down here testing this area of the chart so for me at this point uh, at this point when we fail a support level in the chart the next thing i need to see is i need to see that stock recover in some way put in a higher low somewhere whether it be below that support above that support before i'm interested in getting involved again and i've built my career honestly uh, my more than 20 years as a full-time trader i've built my career on being very stringent on the patterns that i trade and um, it's always the same uh, for me here um, break a downtrend hold the higher low this is where i want to get long and um, until we can follow through with those patterns here um, in the chart, when we start breaking support levels, I look for the next potential support to be the next possibility in the trade. So with that being said, when I look at Disney and see that we broke this support, any rally back up here that fails to break through that resistance up here, 
could set up that next lower high, that potential short to the downside. So keep a close eye on that. Um, let's take a look at gold. Oh my goodness. Gold, very, very strong. We're getting a pullback here today and we, we needed one. Um, gold in the last three days really moving heavily to the upside and that's based on, I believe, the fear of the regional banking crisis out there. And looking at gold, you can see there's a bit of a trend here going on and we're, we moved ahead of the trend. So in all, in all likelihood, there is that chance that we could rest, pull back, consolidate out here toward this trend before we really get that, that full engagement of the trend and the potential upside to continue. And there may be reason for this to continue with the worries of stagflation, the worries of recession, the worries in our banking system. So watch that closely. Um, GLD looking good. Now I have a position in um, PHYS. PHYS is a physical gold ETF where you actually own physical gold, not paper gold. And that has served me really well here this week uh, to the upside. So keep a close eye on these charts. Also, you might want to take a look at silver. Silver has been looking really good, pushed up strongly the last three days. Little rest, little consolidation is probably due on that chart. And then maybe we can start attacking these um, other resistance levels and break out here on silver. Keep an eye on that. Certainly a lot of bullish action in those uh, plays. If you want some physical silver, you might want to look at PSLV, which is not a paper silver. You're actually buying a parts of of physical silver here um, on those so watch that carefully as uh, this regional banking thing is bringing in lots of fear let's take a look at regional banks let's take a look at kre now kre obviously really uh, i mean what a horrible looking chart here um, but we created a pretty substantial hammer here yesterday and that potential that we could get a little bit of relief rally in that. So on the KRE, you might wanna look at this. Um, I think a bull put credit spread might be something to be paying attention to, something, something along those lines to catch a little bit of relief. We don't know, we haven't heard anything from the um, central banks, um, any plan to rescue these banks at the moment. So. Uh, watch that closely, but we might catch a little bit of relief in here. Once we catch that relief, though, boy, we start pushing back up to this resistance, pushing into that downtrend. I'm going to be watching for the next potential short here in the market. And I'm going to say the same when we look at some of the major banks, um, because the major banks have some big problems coming with commercial real estate problems. And as you can see, we've kind of got a double top high failure here in XLF. Any rally back into here or up into this downtrend, I'm gonna be watching for the next potential short here in um, XLF. So keep a close eye on those financials. Lots of pain out there in that sector. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best today and a wonderful weekend. Um, if you're like us here in central, central United States and Nebraska, we finally have a beautiful weekend on the way, and I intend to enjoy it every single second of it. So I hope you do as well. Y'all take care, have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.